when I really think about it, is the MP5 the CQB king or is it the SPOS 12? Let me know down in the comments. What's up everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms out here in beautiful Texas at the Cayenne Vista Ranch. And since we're here, we figured, well, we may as well hang out with Texas Planking. So thanks for coming out, man. Of course, man, thanks for coming out. Yeah. We got some fun array of guns to show off. I, I think so. So you guys have seen us do the top guns from Call of Duty, top of that Call of Duty and everything else. And I feel like Call of Duty gets a lot of love, but there's some other shooter type guns, games out there that are actually pretty fun. And uh, today we're changing up. Rainbow Six Siege, top five guns featuring Texas Planking, and he's gonna start it off with quite the bang. The Spas 12, man. Talk this about just a neat shotgun. What what can you tell our viewers who probably have never even seen one of these or anything else? I what can you tell doubt those it? viewers exist. Uh, <laughs> it's been in a lot of video games and movies, so from even people of my dad's generation, like, oh, the Terminator, Jurassic Park, all that. From us, Battlefield, Call of Duty, Rainbow Six Siege, that kind of stuff. So as far as culture, we know about it. But what it is, this one in particular, I gotta run the serial number again, I think it's a 73, 1973. It doesn't shoot like it though, but in short, it is a shotgun that was intended for certain law enforcement and military in mind, mostly law enforcement, because it is a 12 gauge shotgun that can be fired in both semi and pump action. Which is neat. Yeah. The thinking was they wanted a semi-auto shotgun from the ground up, but if needed for less than lethal rounds, like a bean bag or whatever else, crowd control, they could slip in one of those in there too, but it doesn't have the potency to cycle. Yep. So you could put it in pump action with a press of a button here, slide this back, and then there you go. So right. it could be a 870 or Benelli M4, whatever you want. <laughs> right. All right there. Which but is uh, awesome, yeah. it's cool. It's a classic, but it shoots like a modern gun. It's pretty darn cool. I think you'll like it. Heck yeah, man. Now, what's the deal with the hook and all that stuff? It's a question generator, as well as uh, it was like kind of the OG of OG braces. Oh. So you go ahead and fold it down. That's just yeah. for obviously transportation. Yeah. And if you could actually just hold that real quick. Sure. So for a right handed person, or if you can dual wield, you know, you flip the other one to the left. Uh, they were thinking, cool factor for sure, but also shooting out of a vehicle. For as much as the shotgun weighs, it's not necessarily lightweight, but you go ahead and one hand it. So that was their thinking anyway. That Any vehicle the, work. That is the OG brace. So you already know, I've actually never shot one of these before. Oh, you're gonna love it. And I'm actually gonna start off just by doing that right there. It might not that's cycle right, it. but that's, that'll be on me, right? I think we're good to go. All right, cool. So how do you load this thing? Oh my gosh, it's a bit of a maze. Uh, we're gonna press the button first. That's the bolt release. Yep. It also allows the gate to open. So we're going to go ahead and use double lock buck so we should have the potency to go semi-automatic. Right. It's mostly clean. <laughs> it'll work. It'll work fine. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's a 12 gauge shotgun. You know? I think so it's an a... eight round tube. Okay. I got it in my pocket. We'll split it five five. Yeah, that sounds good. Cool. So we're loaded. Then we go ahead and unlock it here and I'll let you do the uh, pleasure of racking that back and let it go forward. All right. Sounds good. So let's give this a shot here. We've got a couple of targets set up over here. That looks pretty neat. Let's see. Let's see if I can get this thing to cycle all right. Oh, yeah. I guess it would probably help if we went fire here. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, man. That's, that is sweet. It's smooth. Oh, yeah. And that is sweet. I don't know if y'all saw how not much recoil there was mm. at all. That is... It's a very smooth, stays on target. Doesn't yeah. feel like a 12 gauge. Oh man, I didn't, I didn't know what to expect. Oh, this was the first time I ever shot one. And you know what? I'm gonna let it be an honor. Like, you know what? The only way I've ever shot one of these is like a brace, you know? It's perfect. Yeah, exactly. It's perfect. Cool. <laughs> that thing is awesome. Well, let's see you run it, man, like a champ. Sounds good. I'll just try to dump five in a berm fast. Yeah, let's do it. We'll just, what else? What else? I got a thing do? against berms. Yeah, that makes sense. Kill all burns. <laughs> so, like yeah, like I mentioned before, we're out here with Texas Planking. If you haven't seen any of his videos, you might want to go check him out. Uh, he's also friends with our buddy Scott over at Kentucky Ballistics. So, hey, wishing you the best, of course. Hey, I was uh, uh, fortunate enough to make a video for Scott, and I dual wielded the Spaz 12s. It was oh, a perfect yeah. way to yeah, do I, it. Yeah, I saw it. That, that was beautiful. Cool. Excellent. If you want to be my help again, oh, it's I the most you. awkward thing. Yep. Perfect. That's all I need. So, what I think is kind of funny, though, if they had that idea for law enforcement to use in weird situations. I guess they relied on their partner to help. <laughs> yeah, they just needed some, or you just put the barrel in the ground. Oh whatever. yeah, whatever. Yeah, it'd be all right. Cool. Should we dump five real quick? It is Italian and it is older. So sometimes they jam up a little. <laughs> That's all right though. Talk about a neat gun though. So that was our number five. 
let's roll into our number four, something a little spicy and a little small and chambered in way too big of a caliber to be that short. I wasn't kidding when I said too big of a caliber for such a shorty. We've got just a little eight inch barrel shooting 308 on this baby FAL, Fusil Automatique Legere. Even though it's not really an FAO because you know it doesn't have that little fun third position, but DS Arms does make an awesome, awesome little clone. And this all guy, the S lock on it. Oh yeah, man. We went all out on this guy with the SA58 here. So we got the Picatinny dust cover on it, M lock rail up front. <sighs> this thing is sweet. So for those of you that don't know, this gun right here, well, the full size. FAL, that was one that gained quite the cult following. It was super popular. In fact, FN, when they originally designed this gun, uh, they chambered it in 280 British and they really wanted to cater to the US market. And they're like, hey, uh, what, what do you want it to be chambered? And we're like, well, we're moving to 308, 762 NATO. That's what we want. I'm like, okay, cool. So they did that just for us, only for us to turn around and say, hey, we're going with the M14 anyway. <laughs> so it's like, well, that sucks for them, but this guy has been known as the right arm for, of the free world because, well, just about every other freedom fighter in the world has been using it in just about every other NATO country, which is pretty interesting. Yep. But uh, you know what? I want you, because uh, this short little guy. It's gonna bark? It's going to bark. So yeah. I'll let you have the absolute uh, displeasure of just unloading into that green target over there. Let's do it. Go for it, man. We ready? Go for it. Super controllable though. Oh, yeah. What is that? Is that right? Yeah. Little Bellagio action. <laughs> yeah, that thing. Yeah, it definitely barks. I probably should have sighted in the optic for you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's totally my bad. But that thing. I love it. Now what's really cool about these two are the adjustable gas block up front. That was something that was actually thought of during the process of the gun. So terrible, you know, inclements, terrible weather, whatever type of climate you're shooting yeah. in, it'll just keep on keep on going. It's way more controllable than I thought it would be though. It's actually really sweet. Oh yeah, they're they're awesome. And of course, if you've ever seen the town with Ben Affleck, he's running something similar to that, I think with maybe the eleven inch barrel, and I'm like, yeah. mm, that's that's what I want. You trying to make me look bad with the something unsighted? Come on. <laughs> Hey, when we were flying out here, we were like, hey, we need an optic. Throw it on there. Let's go. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe TSA took off and played with it. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, that's sweet, though. Heck, yeah, man. Now, you've got something that 5.56 five, chambered. I do. And looks pretty spicy. So, let's go ahead and grab that boy. Now, we've got ourselves something that looks like your standard AR-15, but is far from it. Do you want to tell us what it is, man? Uh, it's a little love child, kind of, between an AK and an AR, if you think about it that way, but it's a SIG 5.56 SWAT classic with the full length rail and everything on there. Uh, as far as reflecting on the game, I think it's what, a 5.56 XI? Something like that, a little shorter, but overall functionality seems about the same. Yeah, uh, It's a very, very cool shooter. Uh, run it unsuppressed first, I want to see what you think about it, but okay. it is a slick shooter. All right, cool, man. So I got a question though, yeah. are your uh, sights? Uh, yeah, so the thing is, you said we talked about my last one. I only shot this a couple times and the iron sights were not on, so it's the best I could do for you because of what you just did there. So, <laughs> you know so, what, Good I'll luck. Accept, I'll accept it. Let's go ahead and take a couple of shots with this guy here. And one thing too, that's something a little bit different as far as ergonomics go, is uh, just closing the bolt on it. We are really used to either pressing a button in or something like that. But what Sig did on this guy is your bolt release is actually a upward motion, which makes a lot of sense. And in a sense, yeah, I, I, I like it quite you a bit. You just throw the mag upwards and also yeah. your hand continues upwards. It's kind of cool. Yeah. It's reversed. But. All right, let's see if I can hit one of these targets in this maybe not so sighted in. Right? Try it out. <laughs> All right, let's take a couple of shots here. First off, the recoil impulse is fantastic. Light. Light. That feels great. That feels really good, but you know, I've got to, uh, I've got to do this. I'll pick that up because that's like $3 that I just lost right there. <laughs> so you've got this little guy? Yeah, a little AAC, uh, what is it, an AAC 8? SDN 6762 on a 556, it'll work. Yeah. We're on safe here. Yes. And clear. For all of you internet RSOs at home, all right, we're playing it safe here. 
But I love to the QD system on a oh. lot of suppressors and stuff like that. All that is. Super that was my sweet. first suppressor yeah. too. It's a little heavy. Adds some forward yeah. weight, but it does add the cool factor, and that's what we're about. Cool factor is what really matters. Let's give it a couple of shots now and see how it feels. That is great. Now something too that I think is kind of funny is I've shot a lot of AR suppressed, which use a different operating system. Yeah. They use a direct impingement system versus a piston driven system. So a lot of those gases that you get back into the face in the AR are actually escaping forward of the gun. You don't eat a lot of gas, which is kind of nice. Well, this is not really that port here, but yeah. you'll get some if you shoot quickly, but not close to what a just standard direct impingement is. That's sweet. I need. Yeah, I like that quite a bit. So of course we want to hear from you guys down in the comment section below. How do you think this list is going so far? Because right now I'm liking it a lot. But you know, there's been a, uh, a number one gun on quite a few lists. You guys are definitely going to recognize it coming up. It's nine millimeter. It's a shorty. It's pretty much everybody's favorite little nine millimeter shorty. Let's go ahead and bring out the SP5. Our number two gun is number one in everybody's heart. I already know it for sure. The MP5. Now you probably heard me say SP5 and you're like, what the heck is that? That is the civilian variant that HK has come out and recently started producing. And this model specifically is the SP5K for shorter barrel, shorter components, shorter system, pretty much everything shorter. So it's the great concealed carry, everyday carry option, I think. Yeah, for sure. But uh, I want you to go ahead and let this guy loose. I, first off, I don't think I need to talk too much about this gun. It is a crazy recognizable, very popular nine millimeter little sub gun. Of course, this one is semi-auto, but there's a caveat here because, well, we got a couple of Franklin Armory binary triggers in, and so it does have a safe position, a semi-auto position, and then flipped all the way down there is your binary position. And for those of you that don't know what that means is, when you pull the trigger, it goes bang. Once it cycles, it does everything it needs to chamber the next round. Once you release the trigger, it goes bang, which is pretty sweet. So I'm gonna load that mag in there, Ooh. but of course, you already know, guys, he's gotta give it the HK slap. And this one I think is actually like somewhat sided in. Cool. Like should be good. Uh, we'll try the traditional semi for a second here. There we go. I figured I'd end shooting that way to appease the ATF because it is a pistol. <laughs> That's right. Well, you know, it doesn't have a stock or anything else on it, uh, even a brace for that matter, which, you know, are still things and would still be considered a pistol with the brace on it. But I I really like that gun. That is and cool. What's cool is too is uh, I you at least hit the target this time, so you're welcome for giving you something that was somewhat sighted in. Nice. <laughs> Good old roller delayed though. They're smooth. Oh, absolutely. So what's cool about these guns, again, using that roller delayed action is well, they're a little bit more complicated than other guns, but because of that and the way this system operates, it is probably one of the smoothest shooting little sub guns yeah. out there. For very sure. low recoil impulse, very comfortable for CQB, and why it's still a favorite for civilian, military, and law enforcement alike. Yeah, no, it's sweet, man. No, I absolutely love it. No, binary is a, a cool way to go about it too. Oh yeah, and then of course, what's really cool about the binary triggers is the more you shoot it, the better they get. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's roll into now our number one, which you can try to use maybe as a concealed carry, everyday carry, but it's not gonna work out too well. All right. So y'all remember the FAL, and I told you got beat out by the M14? Well, guess what number one is? The Mark 14 EBR that Brandon here has been so kind to let me pull the trigger on because I absolutely, personally, I love both the FAL and the M14 M1A yep. systems. They're just so fun and they work so well. I have always liked these quite a bit. And then you get the Sage chassis on this guy. Yeah. And now all of a sudden it's just awesome. We recently gave away the SOCOM 16 CQB with the uh, pistol grip collapsible stock. And I saw a couple of you guys say, uh, you know, M1A, you know, shouldn't have a pistol grip. And I'm like, laughs in Sage. You know, because yeah, yeah. <laughs> this thing is awesome. And this is also too, uh, pretty much the same type of system, same type of setup that a lot of DMRs, uh, designated marksmen use in the United States military. Yeah. So again, 
you know, we have found that pistol grips to be pretty effective. But what can you tell me a little bit about this system right here? Well, it's just a Springfield Armory M1A. It started as a Scout Squad, 18 inch yeah. barrel with a fixed stock. Really like that as well, but I uh, was hunting an EBR chassis for a while. So I found this one. It's uh, interesting. I was telling you guys, no one really knows about it. I didn't, yeah. whatever. It's the dot matrix, which is like a, early iteration in like design wise you're only going to tell it's a little bit of gap here it says pat penny on the sign or on the side dot matrix doesn't really matter it's a sage ebr chassis just a very early iteration on it yeah. so that mounts up nicely it's got a sage uh, scope mount as well a certain arkin 6 to 24 scope on there harris bipod same suppressor as before to suppress an m1a <laughs> is like I don't know, kind of a resto mod, I guess, trying to build a, something that's got the older design of M1A and bring it to modern age. Obviously, it looks like it was made tomorrow, right? Uh, but it's still an older design. So to do that, uh, I got the Schuster adjustable gas plug, the Navy, whatever uh, yeah. gas block. It's, uh, right. it's a lot that goes into it. And even then, it's only tuned for suppressed, and yeah. it still gasses you quite a bit. <laughs> but all is good because you look damn good shooting it. So uh, that's, that's what it's about. Uh, but you know, before too long, I'm gonna put an OSS on there, oh, kind of yeah. clean it up a little bit, but yeah. it, it shoots well and uh, it certainly looks cool. So yeah, absolutely cool, man. And of course too, the OSS suppressors are sweet because they utilize what's called flow through technology, which means these gases that are getting trapped in the can and slowed down because typically the bang that you hear are those hot gases hitting the cool air. The OSS just has those gases traveling a little bit longer and then it's still escaping out the front. So all that blowback that you're talking about, you don't really get. But uh, pretty sweet. I want to shoot it. Do it. All right, <laughs> cool. I got 10 rounds loaded up here. And uh, we'll see about this one being sighted in too. It should be. It's been about a year and a half. <laughs> so whatever. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's take a couple shots here and see. There you go. Dude, that feels amazing. A little gassy, but oh, yes. hey, you know what? It's okay. I'm just, you know, they're tears of freedom. You yeah. know, that's all right. But uh, dude, that feels awesome. I really like Sounds that. Sounds very cool. The reason yeah. I like a suppressed M1A is yeah. cause it exaggerates more of that action sound. Yes. You get that chime yeah. that, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a very good sound. Yes, it is. In fact, if it's cool with you, I'd like to make that sound 10 more times very absolutely. fast. Yes, absolutely. Okay. okay, cool. I'll be right back. When given the opportunity to mag dump a say GBR, you mag dump a say GBR. <laughs> I love everything about this. That That's great. Feels awesome. I mean, there's, uh, it's no recoil, man. No, that that no, it just it feels down. so good. And it does sound awesome. It just, ching, ching, ching. Oh, man. It feels a little good. thump, a yeah. little metal. It's oh, all good. Dude. Yeah, that's beautiful. Now, I've been trying to get my hands on something very similar to this for quite some time. With that being said, would you like to see something like this given away? Probably minus the suppressor, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, it could be considered. But let us know down in the comments section if you'd like to see Classic Firearms give away something like this sexy little Something setup. like that, because this one's like, mine. Yeah, well, yeah, okay, that <laughs> one's yours. Well, I need a gun to hold. So uh, with that being said, let's talk about one more gun, and that is our current giveaway. Thank you, sir, the Desert Tech. You had to bring more gun. I just, just a little bit, I have a uh, complex, you know, I've got to be the biggest man, <laughs> right? No, just kidding. But uh, anyway, this thing is sweet. We would uh, try to mag dump this, but we kind of went through all of our 50 ammo because we shot the heck out of, out of yours quite a bit. And uh, I say his because, well, you've got a Desert Tech HTI now. Oh yeah. And uh, that's obviously exciting. But one of you watching, We'll get to have a Desert Tech HTI with the Vortex PST 5 to 25 optic, the American Defense Manufacturing mount. This thing is sweet. And this is our latest giveaway that we've teamed up with Brandon from Texas Planking with on this. So, dude, thanks for having us out oh, here. Of thanks course, for man. bringing some awesome, oh, awesome course. equipment too to let us let us check out. It's always a pleasure, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. And of course, again, down in the comment section below, do you agree or not agree with the list that we put together? Do you think there are some guns that don't belong on the list that were or maybe some that should be on the list that weren't let us know down in the comments i'm gonna leave it off there don't forget to get your entries at classicfirearms.com for the 50 bmg bolt gun that we're giving away code word texas well because location and texas planking makes sense right absolutely that's right so i'll leave it off there brandon thanks again man for right, having us you, dude. it's been awesome again thank you all for viewing and checking out both of our channels god bless and we'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com